Hello, Luke the Geek of Steel here. Uh, today I am reviewing this book. Action Comics, 80 Years of Superman, of the Deluxe Edition. In this short and sweet video, I will be giving a quick non-spoiler review of this hardback book. I love big books, <laughs> and I cannot lie. This one is one of my new favourites. It is filled with articles, essays, stories, old and new. It has an introduction by Paul Levitz, a beautiful foreword by Laura Siegel Larson, the daughter of Jerry Siegel. Inside there is a reprint of Action Comics number one, the most important comic ever printed. I'm not biased at all. The images inside are beautifully printed. Um, I, I've already um, read through the book a few times. Um, it's just glorious. The book is obviously larger than your regular comic, so the images are bigger, which means you can really notice the detail more. And because they are printed so nicely, you can just get really lost in the pages. I love many things about this book, but there is one little uh, article inside it by Marv Wolfman. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, meet him at the London Film and Comic Con last year. Had a quick chat and he signed a poster for me. The article is How I Saved Superman. And um, automatically that line got me uh, intrigued. Yeah, the, the history behind how he managed to save a, a Superman story which has never been published before was great. And that leads straight into the, um, the lost story. The unpublished Superman tale. I'll share a few images now, but not too much. Throughout the book, there are stories from across the decades. We start from Action Comics number one, from 1938. And the last story in the book is The Game, written by Paul Levitz, and art by the wonderful Neil Adams. The one thing I will share about this particular story, so the last story in the book, I love it when Superman busts through chains made from kryptonite. It doesn't happen that often in comics, but when it does, it's pretty epic. And um, I've got a few things scattered around my Fortress of Solitude when uh, Superman does bust through said chains. I've got it on art, I've got it on a t-shirt, I've got it on a mug, and I've got it on comics. My favourite Superman comic ever, so far, is Superman number 233 with the cover work by Neil Adams. I found this one in a comic shop quite a few years ago and it's been my one of my prized Superman possessions ever since. It's not in mint condition because I have read it very carefully quite a few times. Seeing him bust through the chains that make him weak is an iconic image and the point that I'm getting to is, in the final story in this magical book, he does bust through kryptonite chains. Spoiler alert, I will be sharing this image with you, because it is fantastic. Neil Adams did the artwork for this story as well, and it is magnificent. There he is, busting through the chains once more, looking just as powerful as he did on the cover of Superman 233. Thank you, Neil Adams, for recreating this image and adding it to this fantastic book. I don't want to share too much of the inside of this book as I don't want to spoil it for you guys who I'm sure want to have it in your collection as well. So thanks for joining me for this quick review. Now I'm going to go and read this magnificent book one more time. I want to say a massive thank you to DC Comics for sending me this copy to review. I love Superman. <laughs> You've probably gathered that by now. To receive this book meant a lot to me, and I've already um, thought of quite a few ways to start paying it forward. I'm going to be sending out quite a few thank you cards next week, so um, I need to start buying some stamps. It's a good year to be a Superman fan, that's for sure. I mean, every year is a good year to be a Superman fan, but uh, this year, it's a really special one. That's me done, and again, we're, we're back to the uh, awkward part where I have to uh, turn off the camera and say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, and one more thing. Um, a few people have asked me for a tour of my Fortress of Solitude. That will be coming pretty soon. Goodbye.